Hey everyone, it's Ellen and welcome to my channel. Today I thought we would actually doodle with a paintbrush instead of with a pencil or a pen. Um, you might need a pencil for some areas, but let's just paint with the paintbrush. I mean, there are a lot of people on here who don't like to draw and painting is better for them and this is a tutorial perfect for you. Really just painting simple shapes, half circles with the curve, circles, you're just doing stems of pushing pull up method for your leaves. All this is very, very simple for anybody to do and then just bleeding in some color. So I go over this you know step by step and anybody can do this I'm serious please do not say you can't just give it a try and see what happens you know I think a lot of people get in their head about when they see something it seems intimidating but really when it comes down to it it's pretty simple also um, check out my patreon I have ad free videos traceables exclusive tutorials and a live stream in the top tier it's just a place people go and support my channel which I appreciate so much so without further ado let's get doodling with our paintbrush and some color and please don't be intimidated let's just have some fun that's what it's all about all right so for this exercise I'm just going to go over my supplies that I have uh, today I'm using this Strathmore watercolor travel pad it's 100% cotton it's uh, 8 by 10 they have a smaller version I think a 6 by 8 um, I'll be using my number 10 Neptune series Princeton and number 8 round series paper towels are here water jar so you know just like a doodle you would draw with a pencil and a pen let's doodle with paintbrush right um, I'm gonna mix up some colors here so I'm thinking maybe I'll make some apples so I'm gonna get some reds going this is like a crimson and a pink red here mixed together and I'm gonna add yellow to make it more of a red red so you know, just in the color here, just get it ready to go. I'm gonna add some yellow here. And see, it turns a nice, pretty, you know, apple red. I'm gonna go back and add more color because I don't have enough paint. Then you get that red, add more yellow, go back and add more pink. Just keep doing it till you have your red. Or if you already have a red, don't even bother. You don't need to do that. So I'm mixing my red. Then I will mix up, I don't need to mix up my browns. I have burnt umber here. I have some Payne's gray. I can mix with the burnt umber to make a deep darker brown. Um, for greens, I'll do some deep greens. I got my cabin yellow deep. I'll add Prussian blue to that. So you get that deep green. And I always add a little burnt umber because I like to make the, not so bluish, little, a little less like more like a forest green and you can do some like mustardy colors so I've got the cadmium yellow deep I'll add a little burnt umber to that it's more of a mustard yellow and orange I have brilliant orange which is very bright and I want these kind of dull fall colors so I'll do the same thing with the orange I'll have the orange here and I'll add a little burnt umber to it just to dull it down a little bit and then from here I'll play now I could for like a Macintosh kind of apple I might make it like a that light green so I'll have yellow and I'll add some peacock blue and you have that chartreuse kind of lime green for like a Macintosh type apple so I'm just gonna paint some water here like a round circle like an apple or an apple shape this paper is not like arch it's different I can bleed in some of this green just tip tapping it and I'll take my red, do the same, my little apple. <laughs> Maybe my red needs to be a little bit more pigmented, less water. So I'm going back and adding some more of that. Just kind of moving the brush around, playing around with that. I'm not going to be caring so much if it's perfect because it's a doodle. You know it's an apple. And I'm playing with this big brush. See? Boop. We could just do a whole paper of apples and that would be kind of fun. Now I just did like a splotch of green right there. If I really want to get technical, I might grab my number eight, lift some of this color and go back in and add the green. Cause it just looks like one little area here. That's fine. It's not supposed to be perfect. Maybe I'll make a little mushroom with this brown. So I'm just going to do like a curve line here and go up and over a little cap. La, la, la. 
I would wait till this dries before I would do the bottom, but I could go and add some deeper color with this. Just bleed it in a little bit. Oh, that's a little too dark. <laughs> this is the fun part. You're just playing. Who cares what it looks like so much? It's just the exercise of painting. A lot of people get stuck on what to paint. Use that same brown, make like a leaf shape, just kind of curve down, bring back in, down, up and down, up and down. And we've got a leaf shape. Before you know it, these doodles will just be kind of second nature, kind of painting something like this. Maybe do like an oak leaf up here. I mean, an orange color. I'm gonna add some more brilliant orange to this. So I'll make like a line down to give me like where I need to place the rest of the leaf and kind of go up and over, wiggling it. And then I'll go back and fill it in. I have more control with the smaller brush than I did with the 10. And there, that's a simple like little oak leaf. Well, I don't know if that's an oak leaf. Maybe it's not an oak leaf. I'm so tired, I can't think. <laughs> I'm sure somebody will tell me what leaf it is. So we don't have to worry about that. We will have the leaf please tell me. Okay, I'm just tapping in some like reds, just to give it some, you know, fun, different values going on. The same thing with this little leaf. It's a little sad, right? It's got a little thread going in here. I don't know what happened here. Tap in a little brown, deeper brown. Just tippy tap. Now it has more dimension and depth to it, right? It's not just one flat color. We can play around with some dark leaves, stems. So I'll take my dark forest green, kind of just put a line out here and then just put some little leaves kind of coming off that. Really simple. See, we're building a little doodle here. Do the same thing here. A little line, just kind of push down and pull up and you make these little leaves. This is what you do when you're like, uh, oh, stressed out and don't want to think about your day. Don't know what to paint. I, I mean, I'm having a week like that. I'm like been doing a lot of work past few months and now I'm feeling kind of burnt out. So I'm going to grab the orange and do a, maybe do a pumpkin over here. I'll grab the orange a little yellow. So pumpkin, round a shape, paint a little, those little, curved lines. So that's more yellow. I can go back in and fill it with some orange, leaving a little white space. Curve. So some people are better at drawing and some people are better at painting. So this is for the people who feel they're better at just handling the brush than a pencil. I have a mix of both. And just kind of making that shape curve, 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 connecting it, leaving some white space. And then you can just tap in a little darker orangey red color tones while it's still damp up around the top, maybe on the bottom. Wait till it dries and you can go back in and make some lines with those curves again. My apple looks a little sad. I'm gonna go back and fix that apple. Gonna make some more red again. And I'm just gonna go back in here. And kind of really outline the shape Oh, it doesn't look like a sad apple. <laughs> and then I'll take some paint and I'll kind of mush it around. And you know what I think is sad about it? Because it's just has a green spot. So what I'm going to do is go back and clean my brush. Get some more of that green. Nice pretty green here. And just like do some little dash lines. Oh, that's not coming out the way I want it to. See, even I can make mistakes and just let you know that I'm human. I'm not a robot. Just take the tip and kind of look with some dash lines, make a little different greens in here. It just kind of looks fake. I mean, it's not real, but you want it to look somewhat better than it was. So I kept that light green and add a little bit deeper green in there. It doesn't look so weird. And then you can go in and add like a nice brown stem. If you want to add a leaf, now that my mushroom is dry, I can go in and, oh, I mixed too much color in here. A lighter brown by just adding more water. There we go. 
do a lighter shade. And that's kind of a pretty color, so I might use that for like another leaf stem out here. Push down, oops. Push down, pull back. Push down, pull back. Just all you're doing is pushing down, pulling up. Pushing down, pulling up. While it's still damp, you can go and just tip tap like maybe the tips. So look at that little tip action. It's really kind of pretty, right? And you can kind of tap it in here, that dark color too. Boom. You'll have a nice little bleed. It's not the same kind of paper as Arch, but it's still going to do a nice little bleed. And I'll go back and use that same color and put in some veins. Oh, it's still a little wet. I see kind of bleeding a little bit. So I'll wait a little bit longer for that. So we're having a little fun here. We're creating all this little good stuff. Maybe I'll add some acorns. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, put the cap first or second. This is a little too dark brown. So it's a darker brown here. So again, curve line, you know, it's like a half semicircle. So the bottom is curved. We'll do a couple of little ones here. And we'll go back in and fill in the acorn part. Here's a little stem, stem, just pull that out. These are things you can think about. Let's talk about stems. I love to paint stems. Stems with berries. So we'll do a stem here, connecting, right? Maybe put one up here too. So then you have all these elements right now that are working nicely, right? And then what you can, can do is just repeat them. Then change the colors a little more, right? There's that green. Maybe we'll go green in here. I don't know why. I just felt like I needed green in there too. A bit darker. And there's the acorn kind of going over here. And then the stem for the pumpkin could be green, right? And maybe the apples are green or yellow. So a chartreuse kind of green apple. Doesn't have to be a red, just a round kind of shape. I left a little white here, right? Do another pumpkin down here. So repeating now. Curve, 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 curve. You're just drawing with your paintbrush what you would do with the pencil. And you would leave the white a little bit, go back and fill in a little bit more. And then when that's dry, you can go back in and add some deeper tones or go right ahead and add some deeper tones while it's still a little damp. Just by tapping the top area, the bottom, and a little bit of the side. That's all I did. Let's add some more mushrooms. Again, that brown color again. Or you can make it more orangey brown or reddish brown. Whatever floats your boat. So we'll just do another simple cap. Just a curve line and then a little cap. You can make a skinny, fat, whatever you want to do. And one that's still damp, you can kind of bleed in some darker tones. Boop, 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 all around. And then again, we'll do the bottom when that dries. Same thing, this acorn. Now that the dark brown is dry, I'll just go and fill in the bottom half. So it's just really kind of like a, kind of like a half of an oval. Boom. And we can add the details afterwards. You're just kind of masking out like where it's, everything's going to go. For the stems, maybe make a nice cranberry. So I'll take crimson that's over here in my palette. I'll put it over here. And I'll add a little burnt umber to it. A little more crimson. Boom. And just making little circles, berries. Simple. Wiggling the brush in a circular motion. And look how cute that is. All these little fun things. You can just paint these things for a card. You know, that would be a really pretty sweet card or a bookmark. Um, if you're really good with your computer, you can scan them in and make note cards, all that fun stuff. So I'm seeing there's a lot of brown kind of happening here. You kind of want to balance with color, right? So maybe make another apple over here that's not so goofy. Um, I'll make another apple. Get back my red again. So I'll put one over here. I can make a red apple, like red delicious shape. 
or just a round shape and leave a little halo and keep it mostly red this time. Yes, like a school apple, teacher's apple. And then they can just bleed in some of that crimson that I mixed up for the berries. See what kind of triangle with the color here. It's kind of how I like to play. And I'll do like maybe something green over here. Again, just a simple leaf. I'm gonna bend it, push down, connect, 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 connect. Just mindless painting with a little purpose. Look how sweet that looks. This is a little wet still, have to wait till it dries. And same thing with the mushroom now that it's dry. I can go back in and add a little bottom half. Basically just painting downward, curving it a little bit. And that's it. Now you can, while it's still damp, you can add a little deeper color on the bottom and have that bleed a little bit. A little on here. This one's dry. You can go back into the dry one. Do a little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle to the bottom. Give it more interest, you know. And now that this leaf is dry, we can go back in with the darker color and make the veins. So we'll line down here, line down here, just like this. And now this acorn is dry. I'll take a deeper, darker brown. And I could do some crisscrosses, see? Lines going this way and then cross over. Simple. On your little acorn, and add that little dark color here. Tippy tap. You can also, let me show you and zoom in so you can see. On the acorn, add to just a flat wash of color. Add another wash of that color, maybe a little darker value, just a little bit to one side. Boop. And that just gives it a little more interest. Not so flat. And it, the flat one was just as cute, by the way. But, you know, you're just adding the same thing with the leaves. Again, you can add a little color here, just here and here. And the orange one. I didn't do the vein. You do the vein. And this is just repeating, repeating. Right? Repeating. Now that you have the pumpkins that are dry, you can kind of take, see where the white line is here. Zoom in so you can see. And get your brush with a dark orange color. Well, that was a little too dark. <laughs> it was a little too brown orange. I'll remove that. But you, know, you understand what I'm saying. Kind of go next to those lines and get a little deeper. And then it has that more depth to the orange, the orange, the pumpkin. And then you go back in and add a little stem screen really simple cute right just that alone is the cutest little thing i'm sorry i think it's a be cute and then see so you can take your mushroom and add little polka dots you can add patterns it doesn't have to be super realistic i'm adding a little bottom here a little shadow here these are the things you do to make it more interesting um for this apple i'll add a stem and maybe uh, this time i'll add little leaf, right? You just basically stem and push down and adding a little leaf to the side. Isn't that cute? And I'll go do the same thing here. And stem on the green apple here. How about a pear, right? Add some sunflowers, all these things. You can add little yellow flowers. I didn't do that yet, but you understand what I'm saying? These, all these things add up. So we didn't do yellow. We could add some sunflowers. So you picture a circle. I might have to draw the circle where I want it to be an oval shape up here. Okay, so I just drew an oval right here and I'll just take my yellow color, I can add a little orange to that. And taking this brush, I'm just kind of pushing down, pulling back, pulling back, lifting up. See, going around. And then for the other side, I don't like to have it all around. I kind of do like little half ones in here and kind of pull it in. And that would be my sunflower. Really simple. And I would probably do one, I'll turn my paper here, and do one here. If you want to go like this, 
So you swoop, swoop, swoop to feel more accurate. Do that. But you can just kind of just push down and pull back. Again, again, little teeny ones here. That's how, I mean, it's personal preference. It's how I like my sunflowers. I don't like them straight on. And then maybe here I'll just do like a little daisy kind of flower. Doesn't even have to be a sunflower. It could be a black eyed Susan. And that's a little more straight on, but you see what I'm saying. So now we got some orange yellows in there. Let's make a little, just pull it up a little bit. And once that dries, you can go in and add another like wash of yellow with some maybe orange in it. And just kind of just go from the bottom, kind of pushing it from the bottom outward. Not necessary if you don't want to do it. It's just something I choose to do. Adding a little depth by adding another layer with the color. But this is such a simple doodle, you don't have to go crazy. Add some more yellow here. I don't, that one. I don't want each leaf to be totally like orange, so. I'm gonna wait till that dries. So this one, you don't really have to add different values if you want, don't want to. And then you just go into the center and add that little black brown center. Doop, isn't that cute? And add a little stem, the green, the dark green we mixed up. Kind of bend it, just simple leaf, connecting it. On this one, I would just go pff, curve it, connect it like a V. And if you want to add a little leaf, take the tip of this brush up and push down, wiggle. Boom. And I'll do the opposite. Oh, push down, wiggle. Whoops, that's kind of messy. Wiggle. And then take the tip and add, connect it. A little sunflower. Get a little darker on the tips of some of these leaves. This one, you don't have to do that. It's a little preference. I'm going to add a little leaf. Boom, just like that. So this is really just a simple doodle. And you, I went in and added like a little... Another little wash of a deeper value, just like you did with this one. You can play around with that. Add more stems. Um, we didn't even actually just use paints gray. I could take the paints gray, water that down, and add little teeny delicate leaves, some gray leaves here. Again, pushing down, or just going like this. Connect, connect to that stem. It's a little darker than I wanted to do, but that's okay. Can make little teeny ones, little baby ones in between some of these little elements. It's up to you. Connect all the little leaves. Oops, sorry. Isn't that cute? Didn't take much time, not at all. And then go in and add the little elements. If you don't get too crazy by, you know, adding too many things. I'm gonna go just add a little darker value here on this one side. If you wanna take some like white gouache and add little polka dots, have some white gouache here to the um, mushrooms or just darker polka dots with dark color. Let's do a little do 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 do. Oops, tippy tap, tippy tap. Da, da, da. Look how it changes right on the dark area, right? Isn't that cute? Go in this little one too. Just little things you can think about. If you've messed up on your apple and didn't have a, like a little white halo, you can go add it with the gouache. That's why I like gouache. It's so forgiving. Now I didn't fill in my sunflower centers, so now that they're somewhat dry, I would use almost minimal water on this paint um, so that you don't have it bleed. Oops. My paint is becoming a mess. I just go in here and kind of fill in and I leave a little whiteness. If you forget to do that, you can always use the gouache. See, I like to leave a little white halo. And I'm gonna go around that, but then carefully go around these little points here and leave that little white halo. And we have a sweet little autumn, I call it doodle. Um, you might call it something different. And like I said, it'd be great if you made cards like this. Um, you know, it could just be whatever you want it to be. Bookmarks, I'm going back and add another value of this orange, darker. You can play around with this. Just the curve line, remember? These are all these little tweaks you do at the end. 
But really, this took me zero time. I think it's pretty sweet. And something to do when you're kind of like stressed and bored. Elements. Um, like I said, if you have a computer, you just scan the. So you can scan it in your computer and you can like block out the outside elements. But your phone, the new phone, iPhone feature has an iOS feature where it blocks out the elements and you can do it that way. So please get out of your head. Please don't say you can't do this. Please try. Uh, too many people say, oh, it's easy for you, but they don't even give it a try. They don't even know if they can do it unless they try it, right? I guarantee you can just take your brush and make little simple marks to make these little petals. Curve your brush marks to make the pumpkin. Same thing with the apple. These are just, you know, curved semicircles, little oval here. Same thing with this mushroom. And then the leaves are just pushing down and pulling up. You can totally do it with this brush. I use this brush more than the 10, actually. I shouldn't even bother with the 10. And uh, yeah, so if you like this tutorial, leave a comment below. Um, also, let me know if you tried it, because you gotta try it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you haven't hit the bell notification button, please do so, so you know my tutorials are up. And thank you guys so much for stopping by. And please, don't say no. Say yes, and have fun.